Hey, it's Ted here. Uh, doing another really quick video on how to do a make a at-home smoke machine for doing vacuum or evap system diagnostic on the car. Uh, today, my helper is little Logan, and uh, he's been my little cameraman as well. So, oh, sure. what we've got real quickly is uh, it's about a twenty-dollar little project. Bought a little can, just a paint can from Home Depot. Got a little propane regulator off of Amazon for about 10 bucks, I think, 8 bucks, something like that. Um, quarter inch uh, female, or I'm sorry, male NPT quick connect so that I can connect it to my shop air supply. Shop air supply would obviously be way too high pressure uh, and dangerous to the components in your EVAP system. So the regulator brings the pressure down to, I think, below 1 PSI. It's like 11 water inches, uh, which is, I think, less than one PSI. Then have a 3 8 inch NPT, go into a quarter inch uh, compression fitting for the hose, bringing air into the can. And then we've got just a barb tip bringing uh, air out of the can. Uh, excuse me here. Really. Inside, and this is the difference from what I've seen with some of the other smoke supplies, is that uh, I'm doing this just super cheap. Oh, and real quick thing, wrap the... Uh, hose going in with some aluminum foil to shield it from some of the heat and to uh, give it some rigidity so I know where it goes. All I did was take some floral foam to hold the uh, incense sticks and that's all my my uh, smoke supply is and uh, then I just have a little piece of uh, uh, coat hanger to act as a little handle. Drop that down in there. And if I place the lid in here press it down. I'm going to glue and seal off around the little fittings, but I haven't done that yet. And even so, back up for a second here, buddy. Connect this up. See if I can show you um, what that smoke supply looks like. Change the lighting a little bit here in the shop. Pretty strong, uh, though not high pressure. You know, I can stop this pretty easily. Uh, a really strong smoke supply that's going to push a good volume of air with a good volume of smoke into it, into um, to search out a vacuum leak or, like I said, to search out a evap system leak or any other purpose. So uh, it's a great way. I used to do it with uh, with a hand pump to blow the air because I really wanted to keep that pressure down, but that was a pain. Uh, and this is a lot better, um, and just thought I would share this with you folks. Hope you find it helpful. Uh, any questions, just post them in comments. Uh, if you like this video, please leave some comments or hit, hit the like button. Um, thanks.